it looked like the future. In the late 20th century, major powers made a radical bet. Britain, France, Austria, and China abandoned tradition. They moved the action behind the trigger. They embraced the bullpup. Why? The logic was seductive. Mechanized warfare demanded compact weapons for cramped APCs. The bullpup offered a magic trick, a full-length barrel inside a submachine gun's body. You got sniper-like ballistics in a package short enough for room clearing. The AUG and FAMAS became icons of the space age. But the superpowers, the US and Russia, refused to switch. Why did they stick to the AR and AK platforms? The answer lies in the triangle of death. Ergonomics, trigger, and reloads. Conventional rifles, like the M4, are intuitive. Magazine changes are lightning fast. The trigger pull is crisp. Bullpups, they are rear heavy. The triggers are often mushy due to long linkage bars. Worst of all, reloading under stress feels awkward, often forcing soldiers to lose their sight picture. Today, the tide is turning. France has replaced the FAMAS with the HK416. China is moving from the QBZ-95 to the conventional QBZ-191. The bullpup solved a length problem, but it created a handling problem. In the ultimate test of combat, muscle memory beat space age looks. The experiment isn't over, but the classic layout is reclaiming the throne.